guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for This Is Me Project Pan. I know, it's so late. It, it was supposed to go up on the 28th of November. Today is the 5th of December. Yeah, life happened. Sick, work, busy, tired. Yeah, I'm here with the second update to this project I believe and I'm actually really excited because I have some amazing progress to share with you share with you and then some things I don't have that much progress or or none if you want to hear why I chose these specific products you should check out the intro there's one kind of category um, a product whatever you want to say I chose last time to switch out and I will talk about that when I get to it. This project is based on the amazing movie The Greatest Showman. If you haven't seen that movie, go see it. You will not regret it one bit. It is amazing. I know I need to watch it again. It has been a while now and I'm craving that movie so bad. I'm doing this with a bunch of lovely ladies. They will be linked down below down below in the description like always and let's just get into the products before I ramble on too much. The first product that I want to talk about is my W7 foundation. This is the Face Fantasy Matte Finish Foundation. This is in the shade buff? No sand. So this is a little bit too dark for me so last update I talked to you guys about that I bought the foundation that is lighter than this to mix in to create the perfect foundation for me and I am wearing it today. I have been wearing it a lot and amazingly I have been making so good progress the last month. So I use two pumps of this and then one or one and a half pump of the other one and that covers my entire face and some blending down my neck you know. Um, so yeah. This is where I am right now, a little bit below because I'm, I I wanted to film this uh, before in this week and life. I'm a little bit below that line but when I wanted to film this I was at the line so that is going to count towards the next update you know. Um, and yeah I have on some March or something so I think I can finish this no doubt. But I think this is amazing progress in like a month and you don't need a lot of this foundation even though I said two pumps but the pumps are very very small. Last time I didn't have any progress on this and this is the W7 Hideout Full Cover Concealer. This is what it is looking like. It is supposed to be a dupe for the MAC Pro Longwear and I think this wears more beautiful on the skin than the MAC Pro Longwear. But it goes so much faster, you guys. So much faster. Look at how much progress I have done in a month. I'm not worried about this product being done by the finale at all. Maybe in like one and a half month I can have this done. Which will be so exciting. So exciting. Let's just get this out of the way. This is the W7 Night Light. This is kind of performing like a corrector for me. It's not a highlighter like I thought it was but because it has this more pink uh, pink undertone it works like it works out like a corrector if you put it on before your concealer and your foundation it is it's caking up and breaking up my foundation it's like a, an itch kind of um, if you put it on after foundation and before concealer so I do like this as a character. I just need to get into the habit to use one again. I haven't for a long time. I don't really miss it, but it is a nice product, but it's not a favorite at all. So I'm just really, really trying to use it up. And it has this brush applicator. So one swipe and one swipe. I don't even dip twice. You don't need a lot. You don't need a lot at all. Otherwise, it will be kinky. What to do, what to do. Let's take this one. This is exciting. The W7 Matte Dreamer Loose Powder. If I haven't said it, I don't think I have in this update. It is a very W7 heavy project pen. It just happened to work out like that. So, the W7 Matte Dreamer Loose Powder. 
I have amazing progress. I am so, so excited. I was here in the intro of first update and I'm all the way down to here. That is all I have left. Maybe I can even finish this by the end of the year, which will be so exciting because then I have one less powder in my inventory and that is so exciting for me. This is so crazy that I have been going through this for like two, maybe two and a half months, maybe. Um, from it was brand new and now until until now So if I can go through this in like f three four months That is amazing for me because I don't go through a loose powder very fast And I'm actually really surprised that this works out with the foundation um, Because the foundation when I panned it in the springtime uh, the lighter shade um, I couldn't use this but I guess that is because it was summertime and my skin was more oily than it is now. I have combo skin, so it gets a little bit drier, which I like. I like this type of skin type I have now in the winter time. So let's talk about this guy, the W7 Sparkle Slay. Stay. I don't know because now it's rubbing off. I don't have a new line. I marked it there in my intro. I don't have a new line. I have used it maybe two times this past month. Yeah, two, three times maybe. Not enough to make a new line. Uh, if I can, I will, but I doubt it. I don't know if this is going to be done by the finale. Then I really need to use it every single day, but I don't. I use a cream shadow right now and it doesn't really need the extra step to have a glitter primer underneath. So. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking to pan a glitter primer. I, I must be insane. One of the items that are not W7 products in this project is my NYX Vivid Bright Eyeliners. Liquid Eyeliners. Last time I rolled out, rolled out a liquid liner because I hated that liner. And I replaced it with these liners that I really wanted to make some progress on or just use by the end of the year. Since the last update I have used the blue once. I don't have used the green. I tried to use the uh, purple on top of a black eyeliner. Um, but it is, it's dried out. It's empty. So um, I used, I tried to pan a lot of this or I did pan it um, in the springtime and it was almost done. Um, so I guess it's just done now. So I will count this as an empty, but this is one product in this project, so I don't really mind. I really want to have some more progress on these overall before the end of the year. Yeah, before I go into the lip products, I am planning a blush. I actually haven't used this one that much. It is the Candy Flush by W7. Um, it is a box blush, like the Benefit ones. I have no idea if you can see any progress markings, maybe. I don't know. I haven't used it a lot this month, but the first month I did use it a lot. I really want to hit pan on this by the finale, which is my goal from the beginning. Um, maybe I should try to depart it. You can see it is really... It's pulling from the edges, the pan, not the product, the pan. So maybe it's it's easy to depart. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I haven't decided yet on anything in my life right now. I am panning my evil Evelade liner in number fifteen, and it is looking so weird because I used it this morning. Mm -hmm. It is this dark berry color. I do really love it, and I think it is the perfect time of year to pan this, and in this project overall. And it's not too dark and vampy for every day, so I just apply this and if I remember, I will put a lipstick on top. And oftentimes it's actually this lipstick that I'm also having in this project. But I really do like it and I have the same amount of progress since last update. Then we have the Kiss and Trip Holographic Lipstick, this one right here. There is kind of sheer and then it turns into a pink glitter shine. Um, Sheen. I do have a little bit of progress this month and I'm really excited about it. This is the go-to uh, lipstick when I am up here doing my makeup. I need to put a lipstick on that I'm panning and I don't want to do red in the weekdays right now. I don't feel like it even though it's Christmas. 
yeah. Then I reach for this just to apply and then I can do other lip stuff when I get to work or just before I leave for work or something like that because they are in my handbag <laughs> because I need to reapply and I don't remember reapplying at home so I do that at work which is going really great I think. The last item in this project is my Gosh Intense lip color in like a plummy purple pink shade and you can't see any progress with this. I'm basically at the same line. It is standing up right but it's not settling at all. I have used it a bunch of time the last two months. Not enough to make significant progress on this but I have been using it and I really enjoy it. And it is a beautiful shade. So I'm not mad at it not being done yet. And I really need to step up my game if I want to finish this by the finale. Um, but I do think it is going to be easier when I wrap things up with other projects this year. That was everything for the, my update. I hope you guys in enjoyed it. I can't say that word. Enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. I really, really love this project. I love working on the items. And yes, I have more progress on others, but they are in my routine and I'm really, really excited about it because some of these items are older and some of them are newer and some of them I just really want to use some more and I really want to play around with my collection while panning. So this is also this. That is This project is also that. I need, I need to play with my collection. I have I have too much. <laughs> I have too much for my liking. So I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please give it a like, subscribe down below if you're new here. I would love for you to hang out on my channel and until my next video please take care. Bye!